Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a plan with me video. I'm going to plan my week for March 21st to the 27th. I went ahead and printed out my weekly insert. I'm still using my favorite fold out insert. And so every week I just print, cut, and hole punch one for the new week. I also have my iPad to look up my calendar. I use Google Calendar. And I have my planner pouch here with all my supplies. All right, so let me see. What I need first is my sticker kit. So I have that here. So I keep in this pouch my stickers. Like these are my smaller sheets of stickers in this sticker album. And then I have my kits in here. I have extra stickers, sticky notes, inserts, and then all the like markers, pens, and all of that there. So here in this vellum pouch, I have my kit for the month. So this is the second to last week of March, so I still have some stickers left here. And then I have my calendar stickers. So I need one of those. So I have like five sheets because each sheet has January through December and I use it each week of the month. So sometimes there's four or five weeks. And then I have my sticker kit and for my weekly, I mainly use sheet B, sheet C, and sheet D of my sticker kit. So I'll go ahead and start with that. So the first thing I do is put down the stickers that I use. So on this first page of my weekly insert is where I plan and log my meals. So we have these headers here. And as you can see, I've used it for the whole month. This is the last full week of March. So I just put it here at the top. And then when you open the insert, you have the inside flaps, and I use these for lists. And typically, I like to use this side for personal and this side for business. So my lists are um, to buy the top. So anything I need to buy during the week that's not like groceries, like planner supplies or some other things that we don't buy at Target or whatever. And then I have errands. And I like to put it on a separate list here because on my weekly spread, I just write errands. And then I can just look here at all the errands and not have to take up that much space on my weekly spread. And then the last list is for any mail that I'm expecting, but I'm not sure what day it falls on. So that's mail. And then for this side, I actually, I keep changing it up. I'm experimenting with it. Um, so I don't think I have all the stickers I need for that side, but let's see what I have here. So in this sticker album, I have all the extra stickers that I use for planning. And then I do have some headers, extra headers that I use. So here's what I was using before and I made myself a sticker sheet for it. I have more back here, but I recently just changed it up. So let's see if this will work. Um, I wanted to do Instagram posts. So I do have that in the first list. In the second list, I wanted to do vlog. Like I'm going to, I'm playing around with vlogging. You guys don't know how many things I have like filmed for my vlog and I never use just because I'm still trying to figure that all out but I definitely want to do more vlogging because I just think it's fun um, and I love watching vlogs myself of other people and then the last one is product and I don't have a sticker for that because that's a new one so for now I'll just put product and then on the inside I start at the bottom with the checklist and I guess the only ones I have left are these like beehive or hexagon type of pattern, which will work good. I think I'm going to use this sticker at the top. I always like to use a decorative full box at the top just to kind of theme my week. And I think this week is like the first week of, or the first day of spring falls on this week, I think. So I think I'm going to use this one, which is really cute and it'll go well 
with this pattern so that worked out nicely so the width of these columns are one and a half inches wide I think and my stickers are one and a quarter inches wide so I just center it in between and then this is just a checklist for any tasks I need to do that don't fall on a particular day and then right above that I put a header to do header and then I just leave a little bit of space in between the stickers just to have like I like a lot of white space and then above that I put one of these quarter boxes so again here I'm just eyeballing it using the other stickers to make sure it's centered and then above that I put my calendar label and this one's a little bit tricky because the width of these are a little bit wider so I need to like center it by itself without using the other stickers as reference if that makes sense and then above that I put my last header on the sheet which is this week oops see and then that's the mistake I can make because I'm aligning it with the calendar label but it's not the same width so really what I use is not the edge of the sticker but the line here on the left side of the calendar typically that works better to line it up with but I make that mistake week after week <laughs> so I'm always like pulling it back up and then above that is the decorative full box so that's my sidebar. It's probably the most decorative spot in my whole planner and I love it so much. So then those are all the stickers. So then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start from the first page and I use this clean color dot to make dots on each day for tracking how much water I'm drinking. I could use sticker dots, but it's just so many. Three times seven is 21 dots. So I just do three dots per day. Each dot represents a water bottle and each water bottle, I forget how many ounces each water bottle is, but basically if I drink three of those water bottles per day, I reach my goal water intake. And then I don't plan out every meal for the week. I just try to plan out what I think we'll eat for dinner. So here in the back in my wellness section, I have some dinner ideas. Oops, sorry. I have some dinner ideas. I kind of have to see what we have going on during the week. So I'll come back to that. And then for these, for Instagram posts, I want to do one post per day. So I just put the days of the week here. And then the same thing for the vlog. And not to say that I'm going to vlog every day, but if there's something going on that day that I know would be good to put on the vlog, then I'll just write it in here. And then for product, it's not necessarily every single day. It's any product that I want to highlight for the week. I'll write it here, and as I post about it, I'll check it off. So I leave that part blank. And then on the inside, I like to... Which one do I use? This one. So this is the this is one of my favorites. N89 Tombow brush marker. Um, this is like a I think they call it a warm gray or something. I just highlight the week here. So this is the 21st. So I just like to get a bird's eye view of where this week falls during the month and then here I like to write whatever is the main focus of the week or something some big event or something that's going to take up a big chunk of time I write it there but I usually do that after I plan out my week and then I'll add things here as the week is happening so then up here I just put in the dates I can't believe that it's pretty much the end of March it's so crazy and then I'm ready to plan my week. So the first thing I do is I look at my Google Calendar and put in any dates, appointments, meetings, you know, stuff like that across the top in this first row. So Monday, the girls actually have the day off. So let's see how I'll mark that. I've been really loving using our doodles lately. So I have a day off doodle somewhere in here. There we go. I'm also expecting a delivery this day from Amazon. So I have an icon for that. I have an icon for that. What is it called? 
there's a there's an app for that that commercial <laughs> I forget but I had this really cute boxes doodle for that so I'll put that here Tuesday my husband he's getting together with some friends so I like to write his schedule on here too because it does affect mine so what I like to do is I do day events here like days off and then I skip a line and then I do morning afternoon evening so his is in the evening at 8.45. And then on Wednesday, I have to take my mom to the doctor. And then my daughter has a youth group thing. That's it for Wednesday. And then Thursday, nothing. Friday, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but um, we're going to watch the Olivia Rodrigo um, documentary, I think is supposed to be released that day. Every weekend we try to do like, I don't know, something as a family. So Fridays we usually, we call it Fun Friday. So I'm going to mark Fun Friday. My husband and I go out on a date usually while the girls are in school. And then after school we usually pick up dinner and then do some try to do something fun together and then here i'll use this super cute little tv doodle to mark the documentary and then saturday i just need to remind myself that our car registration is due so put that up here and then on sunday we just have mass at 11 30. so that's it for like any meetings or events and stuff like that so i add all our mail that we're expecting and all the shows that we like to watch so i showed this before but i like to use this app called next episode and it just shows you what's coming up this week for your shows so this is us this week I know all you guys watch it on Tuesday, but we don't have like regular TV channels. We watch it on Hulu, so it's not available to us until the day after. So I always mark it on Wednesday. We Crashed comes on on Fridays, and then Bridgerton is on Friday. There's a lot of stuff going on that night. So that's really it for the first row. The second row is for personal tasks. I pretty much have the same recurring tasks every week. On Mondays, I do my friends and family plan, which just means reaching out to loved ones and keeping in touch. And then some school stuff for my girls. Tuesday is typically wellness related tasks. So I need to reschedule. I finally scheduled my doctor's appointments and now I have to reschedule them. And then I also have to look into Kaiser for my son. And then Wednesday is typically any family type of task. So a follow up with one of my girls schools and then a follow up with a church thing for my daughter. Then Thursday, I like to well, I'm trying to do meal planning and then a school thing. And then Friday is errands and then checking my daughter's grades and another school project. And then Saturday is memory keeping and then Sunday is chores. So that's the personal task. And then the bottom row is business tasks. So I'm gonna use sheet D of the sticker kit and use these uh, two-tone labels and let me see if I have enough two four six of the skinny ones and two of the bigger ones so I actually do have extras I don't know if you guys know but I recently put these in the shop these two-tone labels that you can buy a la carte if you need more like right now I need more what I'll do is I'll use these with my doodles so I'm going to put one in each day. So on Monday is mail. So this is for the email newsletter. Tuesday video tip. Wednesday is reel. And what I've been using for reel because I don't really have a sticker for Instagram reel. So I've been using a TV because the Instagram reel like little icon is like a TV. And then Thursday is another video. And then Friday is new releases. This is like one of my favorite stickers ever. Saturday is vlog. I'm trying to get back to blogging. We'll see. And then Sunday's video is plan with me. The two tone labels let me put an icon and then write what it is. So for like the email newsletter, it's just always update. For the video, I'm gonna put 
tip. I have two video ideas. I haven't decided which one to do yet, so I'm gonna leave that blank for now. The reel, I like to do those mostly, like I'll film a few reels and then I'll just choose one to post that day. Thursday is hopefully sub reveal. And I say hopefully just because I don't wanna post it too early if people haven't received their subs yet. Friday's new releases. This is your heads up that it's gonna be grab bags. Saturday, I haven't decided what the blog topic is yet. Sunday videos will always be planned with me, like today's. All right, so those are my content. And then I go back and put in my tasks. So we're gonna be packing subs for the first part of the week. And then also hopefully if we do get subs out that day, then I'm gonna work on releases. And then Thursday is for filming videos. Friday is working on Instagram. Saturday work on the blog. And then Sunday is plan. So this is how my week looks like when I first start out. Obviously the main priority and that's gonna take up a huge chunk of time this week is subs. So I'm gonna put here sub week. So like I said, I like to put here any major priorities for the week. I'll add things here as needed. And then I'm always adding stuff throughout the week to my weekly spread, but this is basically the start of it. And then I'll go back and fill in these. Oh, actually, I could probably do dinners because I haven't done that yet. So I like to look if there's any nighttime things that would affect dinner, which not really. So here I have like some ideas that we can do for dinner during the week. And I put on sticky notes because things are always changing. I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while, but we have an unusual living situation. We're actually planning to move out soon, but we're in a place where we can't really cook. And so, I don't know, it's just a weird situation. So it's hard to plan. It's very challenging. So what I'm gonna do right now is think about that later off camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me figure it out. We like to have one dinner last two nights. So that's why I'm putting sticky notes over two days. So Monday dinner, leftovers, Wednesday dinner, leftovers. Friday is usually pickup because that's fun Friday and a time for us just to relax after the long week. And then one more dinner on Saturday with leftovers on Sunday. So those are meals. So here throughout the week, I'm just gonna log what I eat. I'll plan our meals offline. And then on this, inside flap. Um, I just put anything we need to buy. I can't think of anything right now. Any errands we need to run. So I have Amazon returns. Stop by the bank. Mail that I'm expecting but I don't know when. Like Go Wild swag. I didn't go to Go Wild. I had a ticket so I attended virtually and they were so cool about arranging something so we can still get some swag. Instagram posts. I like to write the content that I'm doing for the week. And then for the vlog, I like to just look at my schedule and what I'm doing. And then for product, I want to share part of the February sub that I haven't shared yet because it wasn't time to like set up April themed kind of thing. So I wait a little while but I can start doing that this week. And then this back page, I keep changing up what I'm doing back here. So right now it's just blank. What I've been thinking about doing is just any notes about content or social media ideas. I would just kind of like note it here. So yeah, that's it. That is my week. And then I just put it in my planner. And then I'm all set to go. So yeah, that's how I plan my week. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.